It's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are doing my October reset vlog. I'm really excited to film this video. I cannot believe that October is already here. I feel like September just started and now it's over. The day that I'm filming this is the last day of September, which is crazy. So I feel like October snuck up on me a little bit this year. So I want to get prepped and reset in this video. So we are ready to start a new month. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Charlotte. I am a post-grad at college. No, I'm, I'm really in the habit of saying college lifestyle YouTuber, but that's not true anymore. I am a post-grad lifestyle and productivity content creator here on YouTube and also on Instagram and TikTok. I do these monthly reset videos every single month. I've been doing them for over a year and I love making these videos. They're so helpful in getting prepped and reset for a brand new month. So I've already gotten started. I took a shower this morning. I just changed my sheets on my bed and I threw a load of laundry in the wash. I still have a little bit of cleaning up to do in my room. I've just got some stuff that's kind of like out and about on my desk. All the clothes that are out on my dresser are clean clothes that I tried on the night before each day of work the previous week. I've gotten in this really bad habit of trying on like six different outfits before I pick what I want to wear the next day and then I don't put away the other options that I tried on. So I end up with this giant pile of clean clothes that just hang out on top of my dresser. So we're going to put those away. Just clean up my room a little bit, clean up my space. And then we're going to move on to the more mental reset portion of the month that's when I do my notion that's when we talk about goals that's when we do book club and a bunch of other fun stuff so that is like the roadmap for this vlog I got my nails done yesterday for October and I threw on this cozy fall sweater so I am so excited for the fall vibes to start so without any further ado let's finish cleaning up my room and getting set up for October a big Sunday reset person. I think it's now that I've started working and I'm really feeling that like work week versus weekend, there's like a big difference between them now. Whereas like before I had my big girl job, I didn't really feel like there was that much of a difference between the week and the weekend. But now that I'm working, I really feel it. And it just feels so good to end your week and your room is all messy. And then over the weekend, you clean it up and you have like a clean slate and you just start fresh for a new week. Like that feels so good. And it's just an extra bonus that this time we're also starting a new month at the same time. So I am just really happy right now. The room is all clean, cleaned off everything. I also, you guys might notice, I got some new plants. That is a story unto itself. I got it. I got them both yesterday when I was getting my nails done. Totally accidentally. I did not mean to get new plants, but I did. Somehow I ended up with two new plants. So that's just a win for me. <laughs> anyway, now that the room is clean, we are going to go over some of my like mental reset stuff. October is... A really interesting month. Traditionally, I either have October as the best month of the year or the worst month of my year. So historically, October has been kind of a month of extremes for me. So I'm really hoping that this October is going to be on the good extreme 
side. First things first though, let's talk about September. I want to go over like some highs and lows from September and kind of how I was feeling and we'll go over kind of like the goals and intentions that I set for September as well and see how we did on those. So September was a really big month for me. It was a big month of change. So if you guys haven't already seen, I got a big girl job during September. It's the first job that I've gotten outside of college, like after I graduated. So it's nice to have that locked in. I'm earning some money, which is really nice. I graduated at the very end of April, like basically May so I got my first job like May, June, July, August. It was about four or five months. It, I got my job like middle of September so it was about four and a half months um, for me between graduating college and getting my first big girl job. I'm working as a marketing manager in real estate, which is really fun. I've never worked in real estate before, so I'm learning a ton of new things at this job. I'm still living at home, which I feel a little conflicted about, but I'm trying to just take things one step at a time and not rush myself or rush the process of like becoming a big girl because I think I've been kind of treating it like this, oh, like, bam, you're gonna, become a big girl and I think I need to treat it more as more of a process like in my brain it kind of would all happen at once I'd have the big girl job move into the big girl apartment move into a new city have a bunch of like make a bunch of new friends wherever I move like all of this stuff would all happen kind of like instantaneously the way it does in college and that my friends is not realistic that's not what happened that's not what is currently happening and I'm just taking a little bit of time to like adjust my expectations so like where I'm at I have a big girl job which is awesome but like I don't have a big girl apartment I'm not living in a new place I'm living back at home and I don't have a lot of friends here a lot of my friends are in different states or they're going back to school for various things or they're going to grad school so I don't really have a network here which is really weird because I grew up here <laughs> so that's something that I'm also trying to deal with it's definitely I've been lonely I've been a little lonely, which sucks, but it's one of those things, like I mentioned, like it's a process, it's a journey, it's not like everything happens all at once, so I'm trying to always be reminding myself of that. Um, another high for September was that we hit 30,000 subscribers on this channel, which is so exciting. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach that milestone. My goal for the entire year is 35,000 subscribers, so we are less than 5,000 subscribers away from that goal, which is super, super cool. So again, thank you guys so much for helping me reach that milestone. Content creating is one of the most fun things in the world. Like it's this job is just so fun. It's so dynamic. I love doing it and I love that I get the opportunity to share my life with you guys and share what I'm learning and share everything with you guys. I just think it's really cool. So that was a really, really big high for September. Another high for September I can't talk too much about, but I have something in the works that I don't have a ton of control over, but there is something, there are some gears turning in the background, like behind the scenes. Um, I will tell you guys about it when I'm ready, but I've got a couple ideas up my sleeve and I've got a couple things kind of going on in my life that I'm really hoping go well and that they turn out. So I can't say any more than that, but that's where we're at. <laughs> Another high for September, I hit a 100 day streak on Duolingo practicing my Spanish speaking, writing and listening skills. So slay. Anyway, those are some of my highs and lows. Let's go back to my notion and look at some of the things that I was trying to focus on for September. All right, I will put it up on screen right here. I call this my September focus. These were my intentions and some of my goals for September. First up for like my word of the month, I had it as determination and and I think I was pretty determined this month. I got a new job. I practice my Spanish every single day of the month. I'm working really hard on my content creation. So I think I was very determined this month. Some of my little like roadmap steps for this were like applying for jobs every day. And I did this like up until I actually got a job. I'm not gonna like continue applying for jobs now that I have one. So we're calling this a win. And then keeping a consistent upload schedule. I think I did that too. Yeah, I was really consistent this month. I posted every week at least once. I wasn't as consistent on my Instagram and my TikTok, but I'm trying to like build up a little stockpile of videos so that I'm not like trying to film and then post that video the next day. So I think October I'll be a little bit more consistent on Instagram and TikTok, but I'm still, I'm calling that a win also. And then the other thing in September I wanted to focus on was getting back into good habits. So the last one, the last little like roadmap step on here was to make my bed every morning. That one I'm calling a win. I think there were like two or three days where I didn't do it. Other than that, I was 
fairly consistent about making my bed. The other two, no screens in bed and reading to fall asleep, I did not do. But I kind of had this like moment last night actually where I was like, I just had this major life change where I'm starting a brand new job, which also comes with a new schedule, a new routine, and new stress levels. And I was like, if I'm exhausted at the end of the day and I just want to watch like 20 minutes of Scooby-Doo before I fall asleep, I am not calling that a bad habit like I never brought my phone with me into bed so I'm not like scrolling on TikTok which I think I would consider a bad habit I'm just watching like an episode of TV as I'm falling asleep and like eventually I would prefer to like have that be reading instead of watching TV but I'm not gonna hold myself to that until I really get acclimated to this new schedule so no I didn't do those things but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it <laughs> so that is the little September recap let's head over to Pinterest and update the notion for October now that we're moving into the new month this is so weird to me I haven't really I feel like I haven't even looked at the September page at all like September just went so fast. Anyway, we're gonna head over to Pinterest. I'm gonna find a bunch of different pictures for fall, for October specifically, and we are going to update my banner and the pictures in my Notion, and we're also gonna set a couple new things to focus on, like a new word of the month and some new little like to-do list roadmap type items to help me get there. This is a part of the of different months like I was never like oh I have to decorate for like the season or anything but since I've been doing my notion page updates every month I get so excited about like the theme of the month like for October obviously the theme is like Halloween and spooky season so I haven't I've never like decorated my room for each season but I think I might want to decorate my room a little bit for the season I don't know I might like maybe crochet some pumpkins or something. I don't know, because doing this Notion page really makes me want to decorate the rest of my space to match. Anyway, here is my Notion page for October. I think it looks so cute. Obviously, we went super hard with the pumpkins, the oranges, the browns, like the fall, Halloween, spooky season vibes. For my little icon, obviously, I chose the jack-o'-lantern emoji. This actually isn't my favorite emoji. I might switch this out to just like an orange or brown heart or something, but I was like, it's Halloween, it's October, you have to go all out with the pumpkins, so we did. Same thing down here, just like cozy fall vibes, like fall, October, Halloween vibes, coffee, cookies, candles, pumpkins, obviously. Just like really, really cozy for fall. If you guys didn't know, I live in Maine and Maine gets really really cold really really early it snowed on halloween more times than i can count so um i'm really trying to channel that like inner cozy vibe especially because another really fun thing about living in maine is that the sun sets after daylight savings passes which is in a couple of weeks i think hey siri when does daylight savings start oh it's in november <laughs> okay we're fine but the sun does set really early as we transition like into fall and winter so in maine the sun sets at legitimately four o'clock in the afternoon like i'm not even kidding go back watch some of my vlogmas videos and you'll see it'll be pitch black in my room i'm like yeah it's 4 30 <laughs> Um, so I'm really not looking forward to that, but I'm hoping if I can like get ahead of it by channeling my inner cozy vibes, that'll make it more okay. Let's talk about my October focus. Okay, so on my most recent videos, I've gotten comments from a lot of you guys that have been saying like, take it easy on yourself. Don't expect too much of yourself when you start something new, like a new job. Like the first month is the hardest. The first few weeks are the hardest. Like give yourself a break. And I just really appreciate you guys leaving those comments. They've been really helpful for me, especially because I don't know, it's one thing to hear it from like your parents or your friends, but it's another thing to hear it from people who have been where I am and who are who have gone 
gone through the same things that I'm currently going through, like starting a new job or starting your first ever job outside of college. So it's been really helpful to hear that from you guys and I've really taken that to heart when I'm setting up my October focus, like my focus for the month, my words for the month, my intentions, all of that kind of stuff. So for October, I have kind of gone back to where I was over the summer where I'm not really setting specific goals like reach this many followers or like do X, Y, and Z every single day. I'm really just trying to have this be little reminders for myself. Like I said, it's an intention for the month. It's not like a hard and fast rule. It's just something that I kind of want to try and focus on. So I've got two major intentions for the month and then obviously I've got some little like road map pieces underneath each intention first up is I really want to focus on my mental health like I mentioned kind of at the beginning October is a historically very low month for me I think it's just hard like with the change of seasons like I mentioned the sun is setting earlier the days are getting shorter it's a lot colder I just tend to struggle a little bit in October specifically I don't know why but I really want to be aware of that this year and get on top of it so it doesn't get on top of me so I want to try and attack that by doing like some journaling maybe starting up therapy again and talking to some of my friends about whatever I'm going through I don't know having a support system you guys I talked about this a little bit like back in the spring I was in therapy in the spring and I found it really helpful. I have since stopped just because my therapist and I kind of came to the conclusion that I worked through the issues that I needed that I like originally started attending therapy to work through. That was for like a very specific moment in time. If you guys were around at that time or you were following the news, there was um, a school shooting at a college that was very close to my college. It wasn't actually on my campus, but it was at kind of, it was at a school that is very similar to the college I went to and it was very close locationally to the college that I went to. So that was really, really scary. So I started going to therapy to kind of work through a lot of the feelings and stress and anxiety that I had around that event. And I found it really helpful for a lot of things even beyond the stress and anxiety I was feeling about that specific event. So that's something that I've tried before and I know it works. So I may end up trying that again. I also really want to focus on blooming where I'm planted. You guys know this was not really my plan. I didn't intend to be in Maine. I didn't really want to be in Maine. So it's been a big mindset shift I guess you can say for me to adjust to being in Maine when I really didn't want to be here but they always say the grass is green is where you water it so I'm really trying to bloom where I'm planted water the grass where I'm standing like trying not to focus too hard on feeling like oh I wish I wasn't here or wish I was somewhere else and focus on the things that I'm grateful for and how lucky I am to be here and to have the things that I have. So some things I want to try to implement in my life during October to really focus on that concept of blooming where I'm planted is maybe like finding some new restaurants or finding some new like fun coffee shops or something in the area that I'm in. I think that'll help just kind of make this town, this general area feel a little bit newer. I've lived here my entire life so I'm really familiar with a lot of places and it really kind of feels like ugh. I already know everything that's here, but first of all, that just isn't true. Like, I can't possibly know everything that's here. So I think going out and trying to find some of those new places will help get rid of that feeling of like, well, there's nothing new here for me. And also thinking maybe like trying new hobbies or like trying to find some extracurricular like reading clubs or reading book clubs. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Like a book club or like um, a knitting club or a crochet club or something where I can meet some new people and I don't know, form a little bit more of that community. So those are some of the things that I wanna focus on a little bit in October. I feel like this is a little bit more of like a heavy section than my goal setting sections usually are in my monthly reset vlogs. So I'm trying not to like make this super dark or like heavy, but I also just wanna be honest with you guys about like where I'm at. So that's where we're at <laughs> for October. Um, and some of the things that I want to focus on for October and I also know whenever I do kind of talk about these things like opening up about if I'm struggling with my mental health or anything like that I know there's at least one person out there that's having the same issues that I'm having and I've heard from you guys multiple times in the past that when I talk about it It makes it easier for you guys to talk about it. And it makes it easier 
to kind of deal with whatever you're going through because you know you're not alone in going through it. So that's another reason I like to share whenever I'm not necessarily feeling at my best is because I know how difficult it can be. I know how like lonely it can feel. So I just want you guys to know that we're all going through something. Everybody has low days. You're not alone in this. I know like when I've struggled the most, the way that I get through it is by kind of like escaping into other people's worlds and like watching other YouTubers. So if I can be that for somebody, that is all I'm all I'm hoping for. So anyway, that's what's going on with October, and that is the new Notion spread. Next up is one of my favorite segments of all time. You guys also love this segment. We are going to do my book club for the month. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty short book club. I didn't get a chance to read a whole heck of a lot in September, but I've got a bunch of books that I'm excited to read in October. So let's hold over to the floor where I always do my book club segment and let's chat about some books. Okay, welcome to book club. We've got a bunch of books that I wanna talk about in this little segment. So in September, I read two books and I'm in the process of reading a third book. So I guess actually, you know what? I'm kind of on track for what I've been kind of like averaging throughout the year. June was like a really big outlier. I read like nine books in June, so we're not counting that. But for the rest of the year, I've been reading like anywhere between one and three books per month so we're pretty much right on track. First up, the first book that I read in September was Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. This book threw me for multiple loops. <laughs> I thought I knew exactly what this book was going to be and it was not at all what I was expecting. I thought this was going to be just like a fluffy little like cowboy romance. It was not. This was a treasure hunt through like the Utah desert and it had outlaws and it had murder and it had like accidental death and it had bandits and like this was a wild wild ride so i think if i knew a little bit more about what it was gonna be going in i would have enjoyed it more i ended up liking it i think i gave it four stars in the end but it really took a little bit of time for me to adjust to this book and what it ended up being because it was not at all lined up with my expectations. Once I got my arms around it, this it was just fun, like little romp through the desert. Like the only thing I will say about this book that I couldn't get behind was that every character had a twisted moral compass. And like there was some stuff, no spoilers. I never do spoilers in book clubs. So I'm gonna try to say this without spoiling anything, but like there was some stuff that happened in this book where I was seriously questioning if I was actually supposed to be rooting for the good guys because they're like making these horrible decisions and then trying to justify them. And I'm like, babe, this can't be justified. You're making the wrong choice. Um, so that part I didn't like as much. It was like, I wholeheartedly disagreed with a lot of the decisions that a lot of the characters made, but whatever, it's fake, so. This was four stars. Next up, we had Cover Story by Susan Rigetti. This may be my new favorite book of all time. If you take one book recommendation that I have ever given on this channel throughout these monthly resets since I've been doing book club, let it be this book. Oh my God, this book was so good. It's all about like lies and betrayal in New York City. So it's all about this young, college student Laura Ricci who gets an internship at Elle magazine so she's working in like high fashion in New York City and while she's interning there she meets this woman Kat Wolf and they kind of fall into this like professional partnership where they're working together at Elle and then the internship ends so then they start working together professionally on like their own side hustle and it's all told through like primary documents of an S FBI investigation so you're reading everything like the FBI interview transcripts, you're reading journal entries, you're reading emails between like con artists and other scam artists. And it was just so good. And the twist at the end, oh my, I never saw it coming. I really have started to enjoy like thriller mysteries. I just find them so exciting to read. And I thought I had this book figured out. I was like, oh yeah, duh. Like, I guess like, you know, the butler did it. Like, I know what's going on. And then it was literally the last page of the book and my mind was blown. I, 
please read this book and then comment about it because I need other people to talk to about this book. It was so good. <laughs> and it's really pretty. The cover is so pretty. So this was obviously five stars. I would have given this 10 if I was on a 10 star scale. So love this. Okay, next I am in the middle of, and by the middle, I mean very much the beginning of The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. I had a couple of my friends read this and recommend it to me, so I definitely want to continue reading this. I just haven't yet. Like we talked about earlier, most of the time when I do my reading is at night, right before I go to bed, and lately I haven't been reading. I've just been watching TV until I fall asleep, which doesn't take very long. Usually takes like 30 seconds to five minutes, so <laughs> I haven't um, gotten very far in this book, but I think it's gonna be intriguing and I like it so far. So obviously for October, moving into the books I wanna read for October, it's spooky season, it's murder mystery season. I will be exclusively reading thrillers, murder mysteries, spooky books. I just love them. Um, the three that I have with me are the ones that I'm planning on reading. I might end up reading more if I blow through the books that I'm currently reading, but given my track record the last two months, I don't think that's super real. Realistic. Anyway, first up, I want to finish The Perfect Marriage. I don't love the writing style of this so far. It's a little bit hard to follow for me personally. I just find the writing kind of like clunky almost. Like it doesn't flow super well in my brain, but I am going to finish it. So this is book number one for October. Next up, we have None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. I have been waiting for so long to get my hands on a copy of this book. This is another thriller mystery. I'm super, super excited to read this book. I think this is going to be another like con artist scam artist kind of situation i am super excited this book has also gotten really really good reviews on goodreads so i cannot wait to read this and then last up we have this book called daisy darker this is by alice feeney again murder mystery thriller this one i'm really excited it's like a family reunion on a private island i'll just read this to you because it's short <laughs> after years of avoiding one another daisy darker's entire family is assembling the last birthday party in Nana's crumbling gothic house on a tiny tidal island. They're finally back together one last time, and when the tide comes in, they'll be cut off from the rest of the world for eight years. The family arrives, each of them harboring secrets. Then, at the stroke of midnight, as a storm rages, Nana is found dead. An hour later, the next family member follows. Trapped on an island where someone is killing them one by one, the Darkers must reckon with their present mystery as well as their past secrets before the tide goes out and all is revealed. The wicked wink to Agatha Christie's and then there were none, Daisy Darker's unforgettable twists will leave the readers reeling. That, I'm so excited. <laughs> Which is really surprising because I never used to like murder mysteries. I never thought I would like them. But last October is when I started actually getting really back into reading. That's when I read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And I think that's when I, when I read Not One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. So that was when I really started getting into my thriller murder mystery obsession. And I'm really excited to read these. So... That is book club for the October reset vlog. A little bit shorter than normal, but um, I haven't been reading as much, so there's not as much to talk about for book club this month. Still a pretty stack though. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think that is gonna do it for this October reset. I'm not doing my bullet journal this month just because I haven't been journaling in there as much recently and I don't wanna feel like I'm cramming it in just for the sake of the video. I actually wanna use it as like, a way to relax and unwind so I just didn't have time to fit the bullet journal in this month we will hopefully get back to it next month but otherwise I'm actually feeling really excited for October this year I'm feeling nice and refreshed now that we've reset for the new month I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to get reset for October if you did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but that is it for this one thank you guys so so much for watching happy spooky season and I'll see you in the next so one bye guys I'm not afraid of